All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, but with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can just keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with us, the people here for a bit. Just going into some more scriptures on just trusting in the Lord, you know, trusting in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai during these perilous times. We have wars, rumors of wars, uprisings of the people, pandemics, pandemics, viruses, pestilences, famines, you know, anger, hate. It's everywhere. The love of many is waxing cold. The enemy trying to uh, further his agenda. We must constantly trust in your how, but I shall remain focused on the Lord. I pray every day. Throughout the day, the Yahweh Bashim Yahshua keeps his spirit in me and within me and on me to constantly trust in them. So I just want to bring out some scriptures, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel to be edified. You know, let's get this. Quick little lesson through the spirit, Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call God and Jesus Christ, than to put confidence in a man. Man will let you down every time. Every time. You see these Israelites, they put their trust in the government. They put their trust in man. Not a man in the Lord is coming with thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. No, that's the last thing. And that's the last person that they're going to ever put their trust in. They're going to put their trust in someone that's not for life. They're going to put their trust in someone that the last thing they think about is reading the scripture. You know, the scripture is telling us don't do that. Put our trust, our confidence, our faith in your head. Because you look up that word trust, it goes back to faith, confidence, you know, a firm belief. It is better to trust in the Lord. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, than to put confidence in a man. That scripture is deepening what it sounds. Trust thou in the Lord, you have, but Shemiah Shai, lean not into thy own understanding. It's going to get rough out here, Israel. You know. They're going to make it mandatory that you take the RFID chip, and if you don't take it, you're not going to be able to eat. We must most definitely trust in your how, but Shemiah Shai, than to enjoy the pleasures of sin, but for a moment. That's transgressing of the law if you take the RFID chip. You know. Reading on, Psalms 71 and 1, in thee, O Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, do I put my trust? Let me never be put to confusion. Let me never be ashamed for putting my trust, for putting all that I have in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, let us never be put to shame. Because we put our trust in Yahweh by Shemia Rashi. Look, going right back to Sarah. Matter of fact, I get that right quick. This, the scripture told us what? The truth shall make you free. Not lies, right? Well, well, this is the truth. The truth is we need to put our trust, our confidence, our faith, everything that we have with inside us in Yahweh by Shemia Rashi. That's it. Let's get this to Rock chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Noah, you know, Moses, King David, King Solomon, all the prophets written of in the Bible, prophets not written of in the Bible, all the Israelites that trusted in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, the, the generations of old, Daniel and the lion's den, Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace, all of them faced opposition, man. And all of them had to put their faith, their confidence, their trust in Yahweh by Shemia Rashi. Once again, Sarah, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, there ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shemia Rashi, and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear? And that's what it's all about. That's the beginning of knowledge. Fear. Fear in the Lord. Did ever any fear and was forsaken? 
or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord, look, look, to call upon him in the true name, the true proper name in the Hebrew tongue, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who did the Lord ever despise that called upon him? He will leave in the midst of the people and a poor and afflicted people that shall call on his name. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth, and sin is the transgression of the law, right? Who can forgive you for your sins? The Lord. Yahweh by Shem you gotta confess your faults though. And saveth in the time of affliction, man. And what's going on right about now? Jacob is being afflicted. You Israelites are being afflicted. Barely working, if working at all. I ain't got no money to pay your bills. It's, go, it's going down out here now. Psalms 91 and 2. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In him will I trust. And them chariots going to pull up soon, come in. With the ignorant called UFOs, they're going to pull up and they're going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing, we're part of that number. But it starts off with that trust, trusting in the Lord, knowing without a shadow of a doubt that you have by Shemel Shai is going to take care of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Look, the Lord been waiting on us, you know what I'm saying, to turn from, back from our wickedness. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31. As for Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, his way is perfect. The whole time. It won't nothing wrong with the Lord. It won't nothing wrong with you have by Shem Yahweh Shai's word. It ain't nothing wrong with this Bible. It was something wrong with us. The ways of the Lord was perfect the whole time. And still are. And still are. But oh yeah, Israel's is like, nah, I don't want to follow the ways of the Lord. I want to follow the ways of the world. When the scriptures tell us, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The ways that you have by Shemiah Shah are perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler. To all of them that, that trust in him. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. Remember that Israel. I constantly tell myself every day. Trust in the Lord. It's, uh, it's repetitive. Every day. Psalm chapter 20 verse 7. Some trust in chariots. And some in horses. The military vehicles. The power that they have. You know, the money that they have, even though the scriptures say riches profit not in the day of wrath. But we, the hopeful elect, will remember the name. What? But we will remember the name of our power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Some powerful scriptures, man. All over the Bible. Scriptures like this is written all over the Bible. What? To comfort us. To comfort us in these perilous times, Israel, we need it. Psalms 115 and 9. O Israel, a people before us a place. Always remember, O Israel, a people before us a place. Our people are still voting. It's true. Once again, you got to revert back to what I said in the beginning of the video. They're still voting. They're still trying to make that change. You, you vote for criminals, man. Crooks, thieves, robbers. Ain't once yet pray to your how but she try to help you out of this predicament that you in. So you're gonna stay in it. Psalms 115 and 9. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord, Yahweh by Shimyawashai. He is their help and their shield. We need help, Israel. We behind enemy lines. We're still prisoners of war. We have never been set free. And we have to put our trust in Yahweh by Shimyawashai. That they come and deliver us, man. Because the scriptures tell us, if the Lord don't hurry up, you know what I'm saying, and, and come get us, it ain't going to be no flesh to be saved. Because this devil going to go on a rampage. Knowing, knowing that they only got a short time to rule, this devil getting ready to come down with a straight wrath, Israel. And we need help, man. We need the Lord. Psalm 73, 28. But it is good for me to draw near to my power. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. 
Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right? I have put my trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that I may declare all thy works, man. All thy works. It's time, Israel. It's past time, Israel. It's time to turn back. Come on back home. Come back to your house by Shem Yahweh Shai. Sarah, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, your house by Shem Yahweh Shai. These people see the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down, out there on the highways and byways, pushing this word. And then the last thing they're thinking about is turning back to the Lord. Even though all hell breaking loose, even though they got to wear a mask, even though they lost their job months ago, as long as they're getting that stimulus package or as long as they're getting that unemployment check, they ain't thinking about the Lord, but let it cut off. But let the government cut that off and watch what Jake do. You know. Look what they do, man. You watch. They're going to try to run back to the Lord, but then the Lord say, Lord, I've been stretched out my hand to you. And you refuse to take heed. Now, now get out my face. Make no terror to turn to the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Shai? And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. And that's exactly what's coming. That's why it's a sense of urgency. Where, where it should be. It should be some type of sense of urgency. You know. When it comes to seeking your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, but it is what it is. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. And you didn't heard these scriptures over and over again, but it's about repetitiveness. The apostles always go into that. So, and look, the Lord repeated himself many of times. Nahum chapter 1. Oh, man, I'm tired of hearing that scripture. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being tired of hearing that scripture. Well, shut up and listen. Or look, or don't. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. The Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And that's exactly what we're in the midst of. Trouble. And Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching. He knoweth them that trust in him. You can't fake it. The God of the Bible already know. You know. The God of the Bible already know who trusts in them. Trust Israel. Have faith in the Lord. I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. Pretty much a point has been made, you know. And constantly, you know what I'm saying, pray to your how about Shem Shai. Look, to keep his spirit in you. And I quoted this earlier, so I'm going to read this. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 12. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, which are the Israelites, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Shai? Look, look, they're going to trust in the name. Of your how but Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, I just want to do something through the spirit of your how but Shem Yahweh Shai. I don't trust. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All we have is the Lord. Shalom.